2023 started not long ago and I'm sure you've been wondering when is the right time for you to start your own business or you're considering when the right time is to start your own business. Well, in this video, I want to break it down to you, the various factors you need to take into consideration before you start your own business in 2023 and beyond. Let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing you want to consider on your list when you're starting your own business or one of the key factors you need to consider is to identify your target audience. Now, if you've not watched my video on target audience, there'll be a video link up here somewhere. Do well to click on it to go and watch that video and understand the concept of your target audience. Your target audience is basically the people going to buy from you or the people you are trying to serve with your product or your service. So identifying them and knowing where to find them is key factor and helps in your decision making as to when is the right time to find those particular set of customers before you start off that idea into the system. The next thing you want to do after identifying your target audience is to do a trial run of the business idea you have or the business concept you have in mind, whether a product-based or a service-based business. By the way, I did a video explaining the various business types that we have, the service-based business and the product-based business. There will be a video link up here somewhere. Do want to click on it and watch that one also to help you understand and make the right decision whether you want to go in for a product-based business or a service-based business. Now, trying your product out in the, with the target audience you are working with helps you identify the flaws in the idea you want to start off with helps you identify whether the market is ready for that particular product or even whether the market is fit for that product or service you are bringing in there so you don't waste money and resources and time and energy putting all that business out there and then it doesn't generate sales or it doesn't fulfill the need for it being out there so do all to understand the audience you are working with and do a trial run before you launch officially the trial run can just be between your friends your family or just some close relatives that can help you give you feedback on that particular idea genuine and sincere feedback not just praising you just to make you feel big and then recognize because you are starting off something but genuine ideas genuine feedback that will help you identify the flaws in the business that you are trying to make before you even make it in the mass to produce two customers as well the next thing you have to consider too is that do you have the time do you have the energy to do that do you have the resources to you know start off the idea whether it's beginning of the year whether it's mid-year whether it's going to be the end of the year anytime i told you are planning to start a business idea make sure you have the time to make sure you bring that business idea into fullness because there are going to be a lot of challenges beginning in the early stages of the idea there are going to be a lot of setbacks here and there whether you are offering uh, a product to the market or trying to bring a service to the market there are going to be a lot of setbacks and you need to groom yourself in the right way before you can jump in there make sure you're going to put in the time the effort the energy the resources to make sure that it's going to fulfill its promise as well one other major factor that you need to really consider to ask yourself whether you're ready for that business is that do you have the financial resources to push that business for it because having a business idea alone is not enough for you to run that business whether you have the time for it, whether it's the right time for it. If you don't have the financial methods or the financial means to push the idea for it, to market that idea, to purchase the products that you need or to even purchase the goods you need, it's going to be very difficult for you to start up that business. So make sure you have the financial means to sponsor your, your idea or your business that you have in mind. So it makes it easier for people to also identify, find you and also buy from you. Then you can read back the investment you put in there. One other factor also you have to consider is, you know, there are seasons in the year and each season and the kind of product or service that is required. So considering this, you might want to wait for a particular season to start a particular service or product out there to a, set, a certain group of customers that you want to serve. So the time of year also influences the time of products that you bring into the market. Make sure you understand how seasons work, how products work, how services work. Understand the kind of season you are in and the kind of product that can fit into that season. If you know you want to bring a particular product that won't pick up now, you have to wait for the right season for you to push that product into the market for it to pick up. So consider all these things when picking up your business idea and asking yourself, is this the right time for you to start? And last but not the least, I would say you should have a clear plan. When you have an idea in mind, mostly what happens is that we rush into just launching our business because we want to be seen out there, because we want to put ourselves out there, because we want to be the entrepreneur. And we, oftentimes when that happens, we end up losing sight of having a clear plan, a clear goal, a clear objective of how you want to have things done. And at the end of the day, if you don't take 
right considerations or the proper actions with goals and objectives to run with, you end up just roaming in the system or roaming about just trying to figure things out. And at the end of the day, you get depleted of energy, resources, and investment as well. And you don't want to find yourself in that kind of situation. So before you even start off that idea, before you even see if the time is right for you to start off that idea, make sure you have a clear plan as to how you want to run that business, why you want to run that business, how you are going to run that business, and how you are going to grow that business. Once you have all these things sorted out, it makes it easy for you to run your business as well. Well, I hope the point shared above helps you get clarity as to when is the right time for you to start your business. Take time, identify all of them, try to answer all of them. Once you answer all of them and have clarity on it, you'll be sure to know that you are ready to find that business idea you want to put into the system and if it's the right time for you to start that business also. Well, I wish you best in your endeavors and I wish you the best of luck this year. Make sure when you step out there, put in your all, have the right mindset, groom yourself that you're going to make this thing happen. No matter the setbacks that you'll be facing, no matter the pullbacks that you'll be facing, no matter whatever will be coming your way, make sure you groom yourself that the mindset you're having is that I'm going to make this a success, I'm going to push all the way to make this thing happen and I wish you all the best. Everything is going to be okay, just put in the effort, put in the dedication and put in the resources to make it bright. See you in the next video, cheers!